two years ago, I had this fraternity brother talking to me in, in the gym and we were talking about what we were gonna do after college and he was gonna go into like into the army and do special forces stuff and I was gonna go into engineering and both of us thought the other person was gonna do something really cool. And he made this comment about like at the end of his life he just wants to know that he didn't live soft. And he's just like, don't live soft. And that just stuck with me ever since. My name is Josh Padley. I'm 26 years old, currently living in Denver, Colorado, and training for the Ironman Triathlon 140.6 in Cozumel, Mexico. First day of Master Swim. It's 4.30 in the morning. Ironman 140.6 is a 2.4 mile swim, a 112 mile bike ride, and then a 26.2 mile run. The whole triathlon thing came from my mom. And when I was in middle school, she did her first full triathlon. So that kind of planted the seed in my mind. I did my first full triathlon down in Texas. And it was, it was tough. I had torn my meniscus six months earlier and decided to push through and do the triathlon anyways. And I didn't have the mental toughness yet. And somewhere during the run, I kind of just like shut down and let myself give up on it. And my mom was there to watch and she saw me coming around and I was kind of walking and she's like, what's wrong? I was like, my knee. She's like, okay. She's like, I'll, let me walk with you for a little bit. So I walked with her for a little bit and then she's like, let's run. And I was like, okay run so she started running with me and then she ended up doing like the full second lap of the the seven mile run with me and she would run past all of the the aid stations and people would offer her water like she was like in the race and she was just like no 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 I'm just I'm just a spectator and they're like you're doing a little bit more than spectating every day you have the option like for breakfast are we gonna do fresh berries? Or are we gonna go with a nice muffin? More times than not, it's probably gonna be the muffin for me. Self-control is lacking. After that race, I just promised myself that I would not do any more of these endurance races. I told myself, like, my body wasn't made to do this, and then I moved to Colorado. Everybody's doing cool stuff out here. They're doing it bigger. They're doing, they're signing up for longer races. They're running them faster. They're doing all this stuff. And I was just like, you know, I think I could do it again. Then I had my mind set on Ironman because people were talking about it. That kind of sounded like me. So I decided to do that. When you start training, it's hours by yourself, and I'm doing two days from the get-go. It's a lot of time away from friends. What pushes me to keep going is, I know that everybody hits walls every day of the week, everybody's lives. There's tough times, but when I'm biking and running for that long, um, I'm thinking a lot about not many people out here doing this, and that's kind of what drives me. Um, just wanting to be somebody that like does a little bit more. It's weird. In your mind, you're you're training alone by yourself so much and you see yourself as like an elite, a badass, you know? Like you're the one that's waking up at 4:30 in the morning going to swim and 
biking at night for three hours while everybody else is watching Netflix and you see yourself as a badass and you get to the starting line and you look around and you're surrounded by people that have done everything you've done and you're no better, no, no, yeah, you're no better than them. And you look down at their calves and you see Iron Man tattoo after Iron Man tattoo and you're just like, wow, I'm nothing, you know? And you go back to basics and it really, it grounds you. That's cool. Come on, Josh! You got it, buddy! You go, buddy! You go! What's up, buddy? Good work! After crossing the finish line at Ironman 70.3 in Boulder, I really just had a good sense of accomplishment. Like, I had finished something that I set out to do. I, there was a target out there, I went, I ran to it, and I completed it, and it was, it was done. There's a lot of choices that you make every day um, in life and my goal is to just not take the easy road because at the end of the hard road, the road less traveled is usually a really good reward. If you're ever thinking about doing something new and big and challenging, just remind yourself to not lift off and keep chasing your dreams. Thank you.